Hello, welcome, God bless. So this one, I'm going to, going to be a quick one, hopefully. Why soup kitchens aren't the answer? Oh my gosh, I saw a video recently and this woman was very adamant that the worst thing you could ever do is give a homeless person money. Um, or it even sounded like food. Um, it was crazy. Um, she was very adamant that the only way to help homeless people are through help groups. Um, no. Please go to my... Um, how do you say it? Playlist? I have a playlist. Help groups are not helpful. Please. Please look through it. Maybe watch one or two. Um, they really are not helpful. And FYI, her solution was soup kitchens. That's the solution. If a homeless person is hungry, well then they should be at a soup kitchen. Um, let's review. Not every town has a soup kitchen. Not everyone can get to a soup kitchen. And, um, they will either have one meal a day or one meal a week. When's the last time you ate one meal a day? One meal a week? And it just gets us into the psychotic realm how house people disassociate homelessness from humanity, how somehow homeless people are not humans, how we do not need bathrooms or showers or sleep or even food on a regular basis. I mean, even with bathrooms, it's like, well, we have bathrooms. Um, if there are bathrooms, they are usually very pissy about you using them, especially for more than 30 seconds. I know I've been in more than one where I literally cannot get to the door to the throne without them banging on the door. What are you doing in there? Holy shit, trying just to take a piss at the moment. Um, especially when you're a girl, you need extra time for, you know, certain times of the month. But anywho, oh my gosh, or else, you know, the bathrooms are always um, out of repair, out of order, or else they're locked a good chunk. I know there's one section in LA where, especially if it's something big is coming, and they will clean the bathrooms, lock them up, and will not open them until, like, you know, the big to-do comes. So, which means the homeless people and the people who are just visiting are totally locked out of bathrooms. It can be 12, 24, 36 hours. And then you're going to gripe because there's shit on the sidewalk? Really? And there was one, what was it? It was the guy griping, it was like South Central LA. Oh my gosh. And in, they took a picture and he's griping about the homeless and you know, there's, you know, poop. And it's just like, is it poop? Is it dog poop? Is it really human poop? If there is human poop, maybe you need to put a porta potty in. Or, you know, pit out bags. Um, yeah, he was just griping about how it was endangering the kids and how awful it was to have these homeless people here. Um, and in the background, there is a fence and it has prison wire going around it. It's like, hmm, somehow I think the homelessness is the least of your problems in this situation because you can pull out the homeless and yet it shows your very environment is extremely crime ridden, crime ridden and violent. Really pull the homeless out, pull the homeless out of San Francisco. It's still going to be a shithole. Pull them out of South Central LA. You're still going to have your gangs running and massive violence. Pull them out of wherever. There's such a disconnect between seeing the homeless as people, as citizens, and, and just the basic needs of what it takes to be a human and get through the day. Um, yeah, so please, please go to the playlist home hope groups are not helpful they really are not um i know i don't encourage anyone to support them um and soup kitchens while they can be a blessing for people in the immediate area who don't have issues getting around um it's not a solve all it's not for everyone and one meal a day if you're lucky i know places where it's one week a one one time a week. Come on. 